Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Weening. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Mike Heffernan. So Dr. Heffernan is a cardiologist. We're bringing in the, the big guns today to talk about some important cardiology topics. On today's topic, we're gonna to talk about, do I need to take a baby aspirin every day? That's a good question, but just before we start, I was reading the text that you sent last night to all of us, and you said, Mike, don't forget to bring some stock picks. Yes. And I'm like, am I supposed to be finding out what GameStop is at? <laughs> Do I download the Reddit app? That's right. Should I have been a cardiologist? Are yes. we going there? Yes. So you meant picks. Pictures, if we needed yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. visual aids. But so today we're going to talk about baby aspirin. Common thing back in the day, take two, call me in the morning. And certainly for decades, there's been advice to take it. Is that something that's still relevant? Let us know why people take it and if we should. Sure. Um, and, and, and not an easy question to answer, right? So um, let's start with the let's start with the easiest answer. So if you ever had a, a cardiac event, if you've had uh, a heart attack before or a stroke, if you've had bypass surgery or an angioplasty, those are patients that are considered high risk. Something bad has already happened. Um, so they need to take an aspirin every day. And sometimes there's even something more potent than we use than aspirin, but as a general rule, those are patients that need to take aspirin every day. Okay, and why? What's aspirin do to the heart? So aspirin, what aspirin does is something not specifically to the heart, but to the blood. And so there are three things kind of, if you think about in your blood, you've got the red cells, you've got the white cells, and you've got these other component called the platelets. And the platelets are there to kind of make our, uh, our blood sticky, uh, make it clot if we happen to cut ourselves. And so aspirin's there to kind of make the, the platelets less sticky to let it go through a potential blockage or something that's been fixed. Okay, so aspirin, and then when you say a baby aspirin, is that what you called it? Yeah. What's the real, like how many milligrams? So, and so, and I know you've got international viewers, yes. so this is gonna vary around the world. Um, so in Canada, it's 81 milligrams daily. I know in the UK, it's 75 milligrams daily. In Germany, it's 80 milligrams daily. So it really, it varies, uh, but by and large, it's considered low dose aspirin. And sometimes here in Canada, we call it baby aspirin mm -hmm. uh, because it's a, it's a low dose. So not because it's for babies. Nope. Not Don't give it to your baby. Right. Um, Those, they taste really good, the baby ones. Like, <laughs> you know, the little pink ones? When I was a kid, they were yeah. orange flavored. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, so, but the harder question and is, do you take aspirin if you've never had anything bad happen to you? So you take aspirin because you're gonna prevent a heart attack. That's a tough one. Right, so I'm a health conscious guy. Yeah. I'm like, yep. listen, I wanna do everything I can because I don't want a heart attack. I'm just gonna take some baby aspirin. Right, and so that's not the right answer anymore. Okay. And so that was considered a standard. People did it all the time. And they would come into the office and we didn't discourage it because we truly just kind of didn't know the answer. Um, but we do have an answer now. Several years ago, there was a study that looked at this and they said, okay, let's take a lot of these people that are really low risk. Half of them are gonna be on aspirin, half are not gonna be on aspirin at all, and let's see how they do. And it turned out that, yep, if you take a low dose aspirin and if you're otherwise well, you will reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke, but the number's really small. And it is offset by your increased risk of bleeding, and bleeding in particular from the stomach. So in the end, a little bit of benefit from heart attack and stroke, but you have an increase in risk of bleeding, and it was a wash. So okay. as a general rule for most people who have never had something bad happen, we say, you don't need to take an aspirin a day. Right. And, and we look at a lot of treatments that way. We always look at the risk-benefit ratio. So you're saying for the average healthy adult person, the risk-benefit ratio does not favor taking a, an aspirin a day right. for prevention. However, if you have had uh, something, a, bad. something bad, like a, like a heart attack, yep. then it is recommended. Yeah. And we would always say, don't use this video to change your medication. So always talk to your family doctor, to your pharmacist, because there's a reason that they've probably prescribed that. So definitely discuss it with your healthcare professional for sure. Okay, I think that's a, that's a great summary of aspirin. Do I take it or not? So it's, it's kind of, yes, sometimes, not all the time. You know? That's a good summary. That, that's, how, that's how we work here. Yeah. So if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. And Mike, thank you very much for taking the time to talk about aspirin with us. You're and welcome. You are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.